सो हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल लेमन कोचिंग सेंटर सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द टीथ था सेवन स्टैंडर्ड ज्योग्राफी एट चैप्टर ह्यूमन एनवायरनमेंट इंटरेक्शन द टॉपिकल एंड द सब टॉपिकल रीजन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर विद एन एग्जांपल सो रेणुका वाज एक्साइटेड दैट श्रीकांत अंकल वाज होम आफ्टर ए गैप ऑफ Four month, and Shrikant Uncle was a wildlife photographer and traveler widely. He was traveling all every places. So Renuka's interest in wildlife and forest began at that age, at an early age only. She was having some interest on the wildlife and some forests. When her uncle introduced her to books on nature, when her uncle. they brought for the books all about nature and gave to her pictures of the distinct lands and peoples who lived there always fascinated her she was fascinated by the peoples living in that land in distinct land and who lived there they were fascinating her in this picture renuka you can see people from different parts of the world some from dry desert some from frozen lands and some from hot wet rain forest they look so different from me from them from her uncle shrikant uncle says to renuka they look so different from us renuka observed them uh, they may look different they may look different but they share the same basic needs of life they share the, they have same basic needs of life all the human beings have same basic needs of life that is the food cloth and shelter these are the basic needs of life that all human beings needs is that that was explained by turinuka by shrikant uncle and the children do the same thing as you probably do the children do the same things as you read probably do for renuka shrikant uncle is saying as she plays games quarrel sometimes and then make up sing dance and help the families with various things that has to be done in they live closer to nature the people they live closer to nature and very early in their lives have learned to care for nature they have learned for care learned to care the nature and they learn how to catch fish and how to collect material from the forest these all the things the people learned living there in chapter 8 19 we will learn about the life of people in different regions in the world First, let us know about the life in the Amazon basin. Learning about Amazon basin. Let us look about on uh, this picture they have given. This is Amazon basin in in South America. While noticing that the tropical region lies very close to equator, tropical uh, tropic of air. Uh, Cap uh, Capricorn. It lies close to the equator, and between 10 degree north, between 10 degree north and 10 degree south, 10 degree north and 10 degree south, between that it lies. So it is referred as the equatorial region. We refer it as equatorial region. Zero is the equator. See, zero is the equator. So uh, in the tropical region is little bit close to the equatorial region. So the, therefore, we uh, see between 10 degree north and 10 degree south. That is zero degree. There, the true equator comes. So therefore. we call it as equatorial region and the river amazon flows through this region through this region the river amazon as you know about the river amazon it flows through this region so it flows from the mountain to the west and reaches to the atlantic ocean to the east so from mountain it flows through to the west and reaches to the atlantic ocean in to the east the place where a river flows into another body of water the place where a river flows for to another body of a water is called as river's mouth we call it as river's mouth numerous tributaries join the amazon river to form amazon basin 
very Indian huge rivers join and the river basin drains portions it covers portions like Brazil parts of Peru Bolivia Ecuador Colombia and a small part of Venezuela let us name the countries of the basin through which the equator passes it's your duty tributaries as you know tributary these are some of the small rivers that join the main river so some of the small river join the main biggest river that is amazon river we can say next climate so as you know the amazon basin stretches directly it is it is from equator on equator it lies and is characterized by how oh, it is with the hot and wet climate throughout the year it is hot and wet climate there both day and night are almost equally hot and humid both day and night it is hot and humid there and the skin feels sticky you feel sticky in the skin in the people way of that place on their skin you feel some sticky when you touch their skin it rains almost every day almost every day it's rain the two without much warning without much warning because simultaneously there, there will be rain in that uh, place almost in the amazon basin almost every day and the day temperature or high with very high humidity so the day temperature gets high because of the high humidity in that place and at night the temperature goes down but the humidity temperature goes down but the humidity in that place remains high only it does not comes down next right uh, the amazon rainforest as it rains heavily in the in the amazon region thick forest grows in the amazon region and the forest are in fact so thick that dense roof created by the leaves they are they are so thick that dense roofs have been created by the leaves and branches does not allow the sunlight it does not allow the sunlight to reach the ground so in the previous chapters you learned about the uh, tropical deciduous forest where the leaf, leaves are very much thick they does not allow the sunlight to come inside like that only here also dense roof created by the leaves and branches it does not allow the sunlight to reach the ground and the ground remains dark and damp so the ground remains dark and damp only shade tolerant vegetation may grow here only shade some vegetations may grow here orchids bromelites these are some of the plant parasites grow as plant parasites like this in amazon forest here in which you can see next the rainforest is rich in fauna in fauna in fauna birds such as tokens hummingbirds and bird of paradise with their brilliant colored plumage they are play play very good in color the bird of paradise and these all birds they oh, bills for eating make them different from the birds so their bills here you can see tokens it has that bills that make different from other birds we that we commonly see in our india they are some no, different by seeing that their bins these birds also make loud sounds in the forest sometimes it makes sounds in the forest animals like monkey sloth and anti uh, ant eating tapirs are found here so here tapir you can see various species of reptiles and snake also you can found in this jungle in jungles of the amazons like crocodile snakes python abound anaconda and po po constricator or some of the species of uh, reptiles and snakes and besides this the basin is hometown for thousands of species of insects this amazon basin is hometown uh, several species of fishers including fleshing flesh eating piraha piraha pirhana fish is also found in this amazon river and this basin is thus extraordinarily rich in uh, founding varieties of life you can found in this amazon basin
Next, people of the rainforest. So, people grow most of their food in small areas after clearing some trees in the forest. After clearing some trees in the forest, they grow the uh, their food as you know, for living in the lost after land, People cut the trees there, they grow the uh, food for uh, get small plants for food. While some of the men hunt and fish in the rivers and women take care of the crops, women take care of the crops that are in that land and they mainly grow uh, crops like tapioca, pineapple and sweet potato. These are some of the crop grown near the Amazon basin or near Amazon and as hunting and fishing are uncertain, it is women who keep their families alive by feeding them some of the vegetables they grow by feeding their vegetables they grow they practice slash and burn agriculture means you have to grow then take the vegetables or the things you have grown then cut it and then burn that uh, thing what you have cut like a root stem these things and the staple and the and the staple food is manioc that is also known as cassava that grows under the ground like uh, like the potato it grows under the ground and they also eat uh, queen ants and egg sacs they also eat and cash crops like coffee maize and cocoa or cocoa are also grown by the people living there so the rainforest provide a lot of food for the houses for them and some families live in the thatched houses shaped like view like view their shape and there are an other large apartments like houses that are called maloka with a steeply slanting roof they are made and so life of the people in Amazon basin is slowly changing. They are changing nowadays. In older days, the heart, the uh, the heart of the forest, could be reached only the navigation, navigating of the river. In 1970, the Trans Amazon Highway made all part of the rainforest very easily accessible for the people living there. And Aircraft and helicopter are also used for reaching various places and the indigenous population was pushed out from the area and they were set to settle in new areas where they continue the practice of their way or distinctive way of farming they can do their farming. The development activities are leading to the gradual destruction of the biological diverse rainforest and it is estimated that a large area of the rainforest has been disappeared near the amazon basin and we can see that this destruction of the forest has a much wider implications in this picture you can see first see this much forest was there then uh, people started making some small houses and it came to this much now they are making big big houses and cutting more forests so it came to this much so the topsoil is washed away as the rains fall and the lush forest turns into a barren landscape it became a landscape next life in the ganga brahmaputra basin let us come to india now the tributaries of the river ganga and brahmaputra together it forms ganga brahmaputra basin the both tributaries from Ganga Brahmaputra Basin in the Indian subcontinents and the basin lies in the subtropical region that is situated between here in 10 degree north in 10 degree north to 30 degree uh, north it forms okay uh, some of and the tributaries of the river Ganga are Gagra, the Sun, the Chambal, the Gandak, Gandak and the Kosi and some of the tributaries of Pramaputra drain it, some of the tributaries of Pramaputra also drain it. So let us look at the Atlas and find some of the names of some tributaries of the river Pramaputra and some of the plains of the Ganga and the Pramaputra, the mountains, the foothills. Uh, See here, here Ganga river comes 
here it uh, uh, joins in Bangladesh to Brahmaputra then it joins to Bay of Bengal in the picture you can see okay this is how Ganga Brahmaputra Basin becomes next Himalayas and the Sun Sundarpan deltas are the main features of this basin uh, Oxbow lakes dot the plain areas the area is dominated by monsoon climate the areas has and the monsoon bring rains from mid june to mid september and the summers are very much hot and the winters are very much cold near the brahmaputra ganga uh, brahmaputra region so looking at the map of india that in given here you will see we have to find out the states in which the ganga brahmaputra basin lies so some nepal and also in some places like tibet it comes next after this the basin area has very much varied topography means the environment plays a dominant role in the destruction of the population it plays a dominant role the mountain areas with steep slopes have inhospitable terrain it is very much uh, a problem for them uh, therefore less number of people lives in the mountain area near the Ganga Brahmaputra basin as you know their Himalaya lies so the plains area uh, provide the most suitable land for human habitation in place most suitable land for human habitation Habitation, the soil is fertile as in that places agriculture is the main occupation of the people where flat land is available for them to grow crops and the density of population of the plains is very high the density of population is very and water it is grown in the areas where the amount of rainfall is high in that place in the Brahmaputra Ganga Brahmaputra Basin where the rainfall is high in that place the paddy is grown wheat, maize, sorghum, gram, millets or other crops that are grown other crops are grown cash crops like sugarcane and jute are also grown in that place banana plantation are also seen in some of the areas of the plain in west bengal and assam tea is grown as plantation silk is produced through the cultivation of silkworm in bihar and assam and in the mountains and hills where the slopes are gentle crops are grown in the terracs the vegetation cover of the area varies according to the types of landforms in the Ganga and Brahmaputra plain tropical deciduous trees are grown you can see tropical deciduous trees in the Ganga and Brahmaputra uh, plains and along with the uh, teak sal and people they are the main trees that are grown in this tropical deciduous forest you learned in your chapter fifth chapter or sixth thick bamboo grooves are all common in this Brahmaputra plain and the delta area that in the delta area is covered with the mangrove forest and in parts of Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh you can see conference trees that are the pine, deodor and fire can be seen because the climate is cool and the slopes are very much steep in these places the, you can see variety of wildlife in Ganga and Brahmaputra Basin. You can see elephant, tiger, deer, monkey. These are some of the common animals you can see in this place. And the one horned rhinoceros is found in this Brahmaputra plain. And in the delta area, Bengal tiger, crocodiles, the alligators are found. And aquatic life abounds in the fresh river waters. The lakes and the bay of Bengals, you can see fresh river waters, lakes. And the most popular. most popular varieties of the fish are roe, catla and hills are also found fish and rice is staple diet for the people who are living in these uh, places they eat fish and uh, some rice items 
Next, uh, the Ganga Brahmaputra plain has several big towns and cities. The cities like Allahabad, Kanpur, Varanasi, Lucknow, Patna, Kolkata, they are all with a population of more than 10 lakh area that are located in the near river Ganga. Uh, you can see, see how much people are there, around 10 lakh near people living near the big Ganga river and 10 lakh we are located along the river Ganga and the waste water from the, these towns and the industry are discharged into this river this led to the some population of the river all the four ways of transports are developed in the Ganga Brahmaputra basin in the plains areas the roadways the railways transport people from place to another place the waterways is the most important means of transportation particularly in the areas there is Ganga river there Kolkata is an important port on the river Hooghly and the plains are also has a large number of airports that they have Tourism is another important activity, see, activity in this Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. Taj Mahal on the bank of river Yamuna is uh, in Agra. Allahabad on the confluence of river Ganga and Yamuna. Buddhist Stupa in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar Lucknow with its Imam Bara. Assam with Kaziranga and Manas with wildlife sanctuary and Arunachal Pradesh with distinct tribal culture are also some of the place with the travelers foreigners visit to this place with visit to these places the travelers visit to these places and enjoy these places so okay friends this was your chapter the so okay friends this was your chapter the human and environment interaction the tropical and the subtropical region so i will see many next explain our chapter till then take care have a nice day bye my dear friends